right here and welcome to the subversion subtract of uh, pangkarniwan developer hopefully nanggaling kayo doon sa revision control track yung parent track nito and malalaman nyo na hindi hindi ko talaga ito pag focusan ng attention kaya medyo konti yung lesson to compare sa uh, git pero since sikat ang subversion wala tayong magagawa kailangan natin i-cover Anyway, so, syempre, umpisa tayo dun sa, wala nang intro-intro, diretso na tayong install. So, sa version, what you need to install with sa version is yung, uh, kailangan natin ng client, siya yung magko-connect dun sa server, siya yung, mag siya yung maggagawa ng revision control things, and uh, server. So, sa client, hindi na ang gagamitin itong slick sa version. Ang gagamitin natin is sa graphical client. Uh, if you've come from the other lessons, you might know na hindi ko talaga, uh, well, hindi ko talaga pinopromote gumamit ka agad ng graphical client. And you're right, hindi nga tayo gagawin ng graphical client. Uh, fortunately, yung Startoy subversion uh, comes with the command line client. So, umpisa tayo sa command line and, uh, well, tawag mo rito, dun na tayo, later na lang tayo magpaproceed with sa... Uh, graphical. So, install lang natin siya. Note, yan. Sama natin yung command line client tools para, para masaya. And, install natin. Might take some time. Yung ver server na gagamitin natin is Visual SVN. Note na yung Tortoise SVN at Visual SVN. Yan yung ginamit natin dun sa uh, mga past lessons na nagde-demo tayo na sa version, especially yung intro lesson natin. So, yan. Visual SVN. It's a graphical na server para hindi na tayo may problema. Mahirap kasi yung command line na nga eh. So, yan. We're not going to cover yung Linux unlike sa sa git part pero, well, uh, baka later lang. I might change my mind. I might add some uh, uh, a simple lesson na gagamit tayo ng Linux. Anyway, so na-install na yung Tortoise SVN since wala pang 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, we're just going to proceed with the uh, quick start rate subversion. Dito na naman yung red bean book na minention ko uh, a bunch of times in the past lessons. So, we're just going to go through the quick start. Uh, yeah, quick start guide. Uh, ang gawin lang natin for the next 7 minutes is we're going to create a repo, uh, check out that, uh, create a repo, put some stuff in it, check it out, and ch perform a change, then commit that change. Bawat tignan na natin sa, uh, sa Tortoise SVN or we, uh, hindi, tignan na sa Tortoise SVN na uh, tama nga na commit nga natin yung changes. So we start with creating a repo. So, again, we're going to use the command line first. Uh, kung hindi pa nyo, hindi pa kayo nadaanan yung command line crash course, well, daanan nyo muna yung command line crash course. Para sa mga early viewers, wala pa tayong command line cra crash course. So, uh, well, hintayin nyo na lang yun. Pero, dapat may rito ang link sa command line crash course. So, gawa tayo ng repos. Then we're going to create our test repo directory. We're going to create our test repo directory. So we can create test repo. Then yeah, nagawa na tayo na test repo. Kung titignan natin yung documents, ah, yun yun ang test repo, yung skeleton na test repo. To start, ah, to Yun nga, bago natin magamit yung repo, kailangan muna siya lagyan ng laman. So, in this case, we're going to have to use the SVN import. Let's create a skeleton. So, sa skeleton na to, kailangan natin ilagay yung mga folders at file. Eh, yun, initial na folders na kailangan sa version, which is yung trunk, where we're going to work uh, most of the time, branches, para sa mga branches, and tags. So, meron tayong tatlong folder. Yan yung uh, base uh, structure ng ating uh, 
Well, typical na subversion project. And, lagdagan lang natin ang isang maliit na file. Uh, me.txt Meron tayong readme.txt dyan. Walang laman. And we're going to do the SVN import. So, SVN import. Import. Skeleton. Then, tong URL na version ng local file system natin. Kung gaya kayo sa akin na tinatamad mag, mag convert nyan. So, we're just going to uh, you could copy paste it dun sa isang browser then automatically niya i-add yung convert to uh, yun, to uh, URL. Then, a message test import. Ngayon, meron na tayong isang revision 1. So, meron na tayong server. Uh, we're going to proceed to check it out. Kukunin natin yung uh, project from the server para meron tayong local working copy. So, it's just simply SVN check out. Then, yung URL. Note na dito, chinek out lang niya yung trunk which is most of the time yun yung gagawin nyo. Then, uh, uh, folder name. So, SVN, check out, uh, test repo trunk, then, anong folder? So, test project. So, yan, na-check out na natin. If you're going to look at that folder, meron siyang .svn folder. Pag tinignan niyo yung mga folder na mga subversion, you could verify that that's a subversion folder when it has a hidden directory in subversion. So, yan. Meron tayong uh, yan, readme.txt. Gawin natin, gawa tayo ng isang local change. And, nagbigyan na lang ng hello world. Okay. Yan natin ng isang change. Then, we're going to commit it dun sa ating repository. So, tayo sa test project. So, run natin dear and status. Pag na yung SVN status, you might notice that it's already modified. So, to just commit it, uh, tignan nyo lang yung uh, basic usage, pero uh, to spare you the details, it's just SVN commit. Then, yung message. Always, always add a message dun sa uh, dun sa commit nyo. Uh, kasi, napang-importante yan. <laughs> Later ko lang explain ko bakit importante. Anyway, so, add the word. So, yan, na-commit na niya. You could verify this by checking out a copy of that project. So, i-recheck out natin siya. So, SVN check out copy. Ay, kita nyo dun sa copy nyo, meron na tayo yung kinuha nyo yung revision 2. So, in that case, ibig sabihin, uh, na copy niya. So, we could do some other stuff. Uh, test project. And, kawa tayo ng another file at text. We... So, svn commit and the svn add another file. svn commit m add another file. So, yun. Na add yung file. So, nasa revision 3 siya rito. Uh, test import yan. Di, di, di maanda ko kita yan. Pero, could check it out with this show log. So, revision 3 na siya dito. Dito sa project copy, nag-general mo yung log niya. Currently, nasa version 2 pa rin siya. Dito natin. Show log. Sa version 3 siya. Pero, yan. Then, gusto nyo i-realign yung copy, well, just SVN update. Yan. So, that's that for the basic sa installation ng client and yung basic usage ng subversion.
Next up, server installation.